This tree has poisonous bark, leaves, and even seeds. What's worse, those seeds can even explode. Wow. And that's not the kind of experience you want when traveling around tropical America. Meet Sandbox Tree, a 100-foot giant covered in conical studs. The tree itself looks unique, since the studs look almost like tiny pumpkins. But don't you dare come close and touch them. Mm -mm. Just contemplate it from afar. Once the pumpkin-looking studs crack, they set the notorious seeds free. They travel at about 230 feet per second, and those have enough force to injure you. But hey, the sandbox tree is not that mean. It just doesn't want any competition, and that's why it tries so hard to send the seeds as far as it can, which is about 130 feet. So please, stay out of the way. Some trees are so dangerous, they even have a warning sign. For example, a manchineel tree. It pretends to be totally innocent, and its fruits look like regular apples. But eating such an apple can be the last thing you do in your life. Well, that sounds serious. Touching this tree isn't safe either. I mean, even looking at that tree can be dangerous. Not kidding. And people can even banish it. Whoever tries to do that gets punished instantly. You try to cut the tree, it replies by squirting blinding ooze right into your eyes. Yeah, this sap can cause temporary blindness. And if it contacts the skin, you'll get burns and blisters. There's only one way to tame that tree. To do that, people first gotta burn the tree at the base and stand far away for sure. Then the fallen tree is left to dry in the sun. Once it's dry, it's safe to use. There are even used to be toxic pieces of furniture made of manchineel tree. Hey, pull up a chair! Now, this thing here, scientists call it jatropha fruit, but it's also known as black vomit nut. Ew! If you ever try to eat it, the first thing you'll experience is a burning feeling in the throat. Once it reaches your stomach, you'll have a severe stomach ache. The result can be terrible. It can cause severe central nervous system depression, and it's not about being terribly sad. It's a physiological state when the breath rate is affected, the heart rate is decreased, and the person may even lose consciousness, not to mention a more serious aftermath. Ah, look at these heart-shaped leaves. They're so cute. Still, this tree's fruit isn't that cute. Pangium eduli is native to Southeast Asia, and its fruit can be eaten, but it requires a lot of preparation. First, you need to grab those brownish clusters that look like pears. These are the fruit. Second, you need to boil the seeds. Yeah, you gotta get to those seeds through the pulp that looks soft, creamy, and possibly edible, but that it's not. Third, you need to either soak them or wrap them in banana leaves for 40 days for the hydrogen cyanide to be released. Yeah, that's great that hydrogen cyanide is slightly water-soluble and can be sort of washed out once the seeds are boiled and fermented. But isn't that too much effort? The thing is, these seeds are usually added to some dishes, so they're more like a spice, not an independent dish. Nope, the hydrogen cyanide thing ruined it for me. Now, some fruits require a lot of additional preparation, while others can be eaten only when 100% ripe. Raw elderberry is rich in vitamin C, which is good for you, and cyanide, which is not that good. These berries are quite popular, though. You can find them in pies, syrups, teas, jams, you name it. Fully ripe and cooked berries aren't dangerous. And nope, these berries aren't banned. National Jamaican fruit Aki has a truly unique taste. It's mild and buttery, and people who tried it say it tastes just like scrambled eggs. Just like with elderberries, it's safe to eat Aki only as long as it's fully ripe. So the importation of raw Aki fruit was banned in the US almost 50 years ago. The only edible part is the white creamy flesh itself. The pink flesh looks mouthwatering, but don't fall for it, it's highly toxic. Same with the black seeds. Well, let's interrupt this for a fun fact. People used to utilize Aki fruit for cleaning clothes, thanks to its laundering properties. Thing is, the fruit capsules have saponins that can create that lather we need for washing. Today, it's not that popular, though, and very few people prefer it to manufactured soap. 
Soursop is one more fruit that doesn't seem to be available in the US. It's also referred to as guanabana and can release dangerous toxins leading to some very unpleasant consequences if not ripe. Soursop fans, don't be sad. Chances are you might find some frozen pulp in supermarkets. The fruit itself is yummy. It tastes like a mix of pineapple and strawberry. However, this fruit is not FDA-approved because of its safety issues. But if you ever eat soursop, remember to avoid the seeds, as they're toxic to us human mammals. Looky here! This is mango. It's safe and delicious. Now look over here. This one kinda looks like mango when it's green, but you certainly don't want to eat it. These fruits grow on a pong pong tree, and one kernel is enough to finish any human being. But who said we gotta eat them? They can be used for deodorants. However, there are safer antibacterial options out there, so we'd best leave the pong pong tree alone. Now, arboreally speaking, a tree doesn't necessarily have to be poisonous to be dangerous. The bunya pine, or false monkey puzzle tree, for instance, has extremely giant cones, larger than your head. Imagine the size of the nuts those cones carry. So the only real danger it poses is if a cone accidentally hits your head when falling. For the rest, the bunya pine is cool. If you boil the seeds, you'll get a super flavorsome tea. The nuts are gluten-free, so they can be part of any trendy diet. It's been around for quite some time, ever since the dinos roamed the planet. But now, it's almost unique to Queensland, Australia. We all know the dose that makes the poison, right? Milky mangrove is another proof of the same. It can be extremely useful for medicinal purposes and extremely toxic when used incorrectly. Yeah, it may not only be the dose, but also the science that makes the poison. This tree's sap can cause blisters, burns, and even temporary blindness, just like a manchineel tree. Ah, here's why people also call it a blind-in-your-eye mangrove. Well, that makes sense. The bottle tree is mostly found in Namibia. So when traveling there and feeling thirsty, don't fall for that bottle-looking buddy. It has no water for you. The bottle tree gets its famous shape by the age of between 5 and 8 years and is designed to hold the water for itself. Now, if you dare try it, the consequences are, shall we say, sad. It's highly toxic for humans and animals. But for those toxins contained in the water, the tree would have been left with no moisture at all. Animals would have taken all the water from it. To avoid it, the bottle tree developed a sort of protection mechanism mostly from animals, and apparently from some humans too, to stay well hydrated. Good advice for everyone. The last, but not the least, Jimpy Jimpy. Now, you probably came across a stinging nettle at least once in your life. The aftermath of the contact with the stinging nettle isn't quite pleasant. Nobody likes rash and burning sensations. Well, it's possible to say that harmless-looking Jimpy Jimpy, which is a distant relative of stinging nettle, has pretty much the same mechanism, but the consequences are different. It can even be fatal. Good news, there's an antidote. Depilatory wax or even sticky tape can help you out. The main problem is the little hair stuck in the skin, and anything sticky, especially wax or tape, can help remove them. This is a first aid treatment, but it helps a lot. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.